Okay, so I am in my laundry room and I was trying to track down a leak. I thought it was this junction right here. I had a pipe uh, insulation on here and water was dripping uh, from that location. So I removed it, dried it off, and I didn't see anything uh, coming. And then I saw a, um, a drop of water on top of the washing machine. So I traced that over to uh, this drain and I dried it off and did everything I could to find out exactly where it's coming from. Was it dripping? And indeed it was coming from uh, above. So I've been looking at the floor joists and the floor and it's, it's all dry up there. So I, I couldn't understand why uh, water was dripping on top of here, but I found it uh, by looking very carefully and I'm gonna show this to you. And yep, I'm gonna turn the camera around and see if I can get the light. The light has to be exactly right for you to see this. So let's see if I can get this on camera. There's too much light there right now, but I'm gonna, oh, there it is. You see that water flowing right there out of the pipe. And if I had three hands, I could actually point to that. Okay, I got another light on here right now. And you can see as I move that light along with that fine stream of water is just coming out of the pipe and spraying the very top of this drain pipe. And then of course it's running down the pipe and then dripping onto my uh, washing machine right there. So anyway, I wanted to show you this cause this is uh, odd. I've seen this before, but anyway, I did not expect that I would find this today. Uh, so there it is. And I'm going to repair that and I'll show you the repair as I make it. Okay, here's a close-up shot. I got better lighting on that. You can see the water squirting out of that and hitting the top of the drain pipe there. And that is the issue. And because of, of that, water is dripping from here and it would give the appearance that the leak is in that drain pipe and dripping on the washing machine, but in fact, it is this pinhole in the pipe. So just to recap, what this is, is a like a pinhole that has rotted into the pipe uh, from corrosion over the years. And this happens sometimes on copper pipes. I've seen it uh, before. I'm gonna upgrade that section to a PEX, uh, PEX pipe and using shark bites. And I'll show you how I do that. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. I've done it before, haven't done it in a while, uh, but I'll have to cut this copper pipe and insert the PEX pipe and I'll show you how that is done. I just made the first cut in the copper pipe that I'm replacing with this PEX pipe. And uh, there's a about a foot, maybe two feet of copper pipe that I'm removing um, to get rid of a, a pinhole that's in part of that copper pipe. Anyway, I'm using this tool to cut the copper pipe. I'm gonna take a video of me using this tool on the next cut. Uh, you can see up there, I'll show you a close up in a second of what I cut, and then I'll show you the second cut that I make. So you can see the pipe there where I made the first cut. Uh, the pinhole in that pipe is up in that area and I'm gonna cut the pipe back to there so it's easy to get to and make that connection. And I'll replace that section of copper pipe with a PEX pipe. So let's take a look at how these copper pipes are cut with the tool that I'm using. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this uh, pipe right here with this uh, tool from Home Depot uh, that's very easy to use. It takes a little bit of effort, but it's easy, relatively speaking. Uh, if I was a professional plumber, I would probably use a tool that would do this quicker. But for uh, home repair, a, a quick thing, you don't need to spend a lot of money with expensive equipment to cut copper pipes. And I'm going to show you how this is done. So uh, first thing you do is open it up, uh, open the gap up by using that screw. This is open all the way and I'm going to cut it right about there. And then what I'm going to do is just tighten this down 
until it's snug and then kind of tighten it up uh, pretty good with a hand tighten and then I'm just gonna spin this on the pipe I'm not sure which if there's a matters which direction it goes but I generally go the same direction and then every turn I tighten that up a little bit more and that blade on there is just cutting into the copper slightly with each turn of the tool on the pipe so just keep doing this and after some time it will come uh, it will be cut all the way through and it comes at a point like about now that I put a pair of pliers on this on this um, turn nut because it does get harder to um, to turn that as you go deeper into the copper so I'm gonna just grab my pliers and I'll be right back okay so just with a simple pair of pliers uh, just on that thumb screw just able to dig in there just a little bit more by using pliers and then uh, I can spin that pretty freely uh, like I said it does take some effort but it's cutting in there and I'm gonna tighten that again perfect I think it's getting close easier with two hands but I've got the pliers in the other hand and I think one more time one more tighten on this is going to do it so I'm gonna put the pliers down hold the pipe part of the pipe that's going to uh, fall when it's cut so this is about to break loose I can feel it now I'm going to do something, I don't know if this is recommended or not recommended or if it doesn't matter, but I'll go the other way as well just to kind of um, get in there a little bit freely and sometimes I'll, I'll do two rotations around the pipe, two revolutions, I don't know, is it a revolution or is it a rotation when I spin that on there, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to tighten it up a little bit more, spin it again. white but it is cutting and it's almost there whoops there it is okay so it just came off and you can see uh, how it makes a nice clean uh, level cut in the pipe and so uh, my next my next part of the job is just to sand this or just to make sure it's deburred so I could not find a deburring tool or a round file, which would be optimal. I have one around here somewhere, but it's always a frustration of uh, the do-it-yourselfer at home, right? We have all kinds of stuff, but can we find what we need when we need it? So anyway, I do have a Swiss Army knife, and uh, these things are great. If you don't have a Swiss Army knife or, or something like this, you should have one. Uh, but there is a file on here, and unfortunately, it's a flat file only, but it will work to do... Uh, what needs to be done and I've, I've already tested it so this is a piece that I cut off and I experimented with it and what I did is I just kept going around the interior of the pipe put the file against the area that needs to be deburred and just worked my way around it there's also an edge of this file uh, that will cut into the copper and you can kind of spin that around and pull out as you as you go around the interior of it and it will cut that copper out of the way and I've got a, a very smooth finish on the interior of the, the pipe I just will need to work on this a little bit just to uh, get rid of some copper shavings but uh, this will work not optimal but um, in a pinch like I am now rather than going to Home Depot and buying something that I know I already have in the house uh, I'm going to use this uh, for uh, the rest of this job Okay, so here it goes on this pipe. Uh, it's a little bit tedious. I'm just gonna keep the camera running and um, take a quick look if you can see what I'm doing. So uh, I think this, this one is good. I'm going to duplicate my effort 
on the other uh, end of the pipe that's cut and then I'll come back and show you how I insert the PEX. So here's a piece of PEX pipe that I have. It is five feet long, much longer than I need. But before I cut it, I'm just going to um, insert this shark bite. And the one I'm using here is the shark bite max. And uh, without the PVC insert, I'm gonna put it on this part of the pipe. And then I'm going to attach the PEX pipe. And then I'll go to the other side and cut it to uh, as closely as I need to on that side. Now these just get pushed on. Um, some of them can be hard and you can twist it as you push it on. And once it goes on, and I'm not sure, there it goes. You kind of want to push it in there. There's a way of measuring it and marking it and making sure it's in all the way. Uh, but I'm just pushing it in there and giving it a good push and turn. And I think that's all the way in there now. And so that's got a good connection and that should do it. It's not going coming out. Okay, now the other part, if I have room, uh, which I'm not going to have room, I'm going to have to cut this in order to get it in there maybe. All right, I bent that pipe around uh, and out of the way on the other end. So now I'm going to insert this PEX pipe into the shark bite and give this a turn as I do it. And I may have to cut that pipe because I can't seem to get a good turn on it. Uh, it's gone in a bit, but I can't turn the pipe enough because it's too, uh, too long. So I'm gonna cut a section of that off. So I cut the, uh, the other end of this PEX pipe off. I cut off, uh, I don't know, maybe about a two, two foot section and I'm just gonna put that aside. I don't need that for this project. And I left enough on the other side so that the other end of that, so there's a bit more to be cut off. What I did learn is that it's very easy to cut with the tool that I have, and I'll show you that in a minute. But for now, I'm pushing this, this PEX pipe in there and I wanna make sure <laughs> And they don't, once, once the pipes get connected, they, they don't come apart and they'll hold up under pressure. Uh, there is a way of removing these, but you need a special tool to do that. But once they're together, uh, they're, they're good. So let's take a look at the other end now. I'm at the other end of that PEX pipe and you can see it very clearly here. Uh, but this other copper pipe is kind of hard to see where the lighting is, but I am, my finger is right on there. That's the end of the cut pipe. And so I'm gonna deburr that and then figure out how the length of this PEX pipe uh, needs to be cut in order to get the shark bite uh, for both of them to attach. So uh, that's what I'm gonna work on right now. Okay, so I've got my Swiss Army knife with my file. Again, I am going to reach around here and do the same thing to the interior of the copper pipe that I did over there okay so that seems to be uh deburred uh fine and it's it's effort with this you want a better tool if you do this uh if you if you go to Home Depot to get the other supplies, pick up a round file and that will be a lot easier. Or there is a deburring tool. I'll put a link in the description to the deburring tool. So you, you can buy these uh, these items online as well. I'll, I'll give you a link to uh, my Amazon, um, Amazon affiliate account so that you can find these products and, and buy them online. Okay, I'm putting the shark bite on with the PVC insert. I've been told that these are harder to put on than the max and the max was took a lot of effort to get that on properly so this might be a little bit harder uh, but i'm not sure so quick check going it goes in without any resistance up to about that part from from there uh all the way to about there without any effort and then uh, i'll be pushing it in so i'm not sure how far it actually goes in if it's to the halfway point of this um this part or just maybe to the edge of where that um, that wider part uh, with a uh, grid diameter 
so I'm not sure, but I'm going to push it in, keep pushing it in until I can't get it anymore. So uh, that's great. It went in there in at least three three times. I it went in deeper and deeper, but it really took a lot of work to get it in there. So uh, initially pushed it on. It went in a little bit. I was pushing it and turning it, and then. Um, while I was turning it, I, I did it several times, then it went in again, and then I did that a third time, and it went in much deeper. So I think it might be to the halfway point of this uh, is where that went. So uh, I might go to the other side and check that and just give that another push before I cut this and insert the pecs. So let me do that and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. I did uh, check the other side. It was tight, but I put a lot of effort into making sure that it was not uh, going to go in any further. So I think I've got the other side good. I'm confident that I've got this uh, shark bite on the copper pipe. And now, so you can see the shark bite right there and the PEX pipe. And so approximately, I wanna cut it approximately right to the middle of that, pec, uh, that shark bite, I mean. Uh, right to the middle of that shark bite is where I'm going to cut this pipe. And um, this gives me probably a half inch or more of flex with these copper pipes they're not mounted solidly right in this area so I've got some flex on that that will give me uh, maybe a half inch or an inch of flex space and then this PEX pipe does flex a little bit too so uh, I want to cut it just um, no shorter than the halfway point and if the halfway point is too much that's okay because of the flex that is right here in the copper will take care of that so um anyway let's give this a try i'm going to demonstrate how this is cut on this short on this uh this scrap piece basically that i'm not using right now i'm just going to cut off a short um a short section of it and the way this goes is this tool will slip right over and there is a razor knife inside of there and if you just squeeze squeeze that together while the pipe's in there and turn it on the pipe it cuts it so I'm turning the pipe a little bit I'm in a situation where I could turn the pipe but when I get up and, and actually cut the pipe I don't need to do that so uh, that has been cut I just don't want it to fall there it goes so there it goes so this one didn't cut as cleanly I was wobbling the pipe um, there's a little bit of a edge on there that you wouldn't really want um, this side seems fine but it may not be a square cut but I want to get a square cut and this pipe is will stay in place and I'll be able to do that. So I'm going to do that now. I don't know how much of this you'll be able to see, uh, but here it goes. So I'm going to cut it again to that halfway point of that shark bite. And there is flex in this pipe that it gives me enough uh, that I'm fine with a cut right there. And that may be a little bit long. Let me get it in the place. Okay, so it is there. And what I'm doing is I'm tightening I'm holding it tight right where that razor knife is digging into the material, the PEX material, and I'm turning this as I do it. Kind of hard right here where I'm working, it's so tight, but this is cutting it, and it'll just be cut in just a second. Let me keep going without releasing the pressure. Okay. Uh, there's a little piece that just didn't cut cleanly, uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get that with my Swiss Army knife. That's not a big deal, but it was uh, a little bit awkward to get a good cut on there as well. So uh, I like the short blade for jobs like this. My Swiss Army knife, it's sharp, and I should be able to cut that off squarely. So that tool does a good job. But, um, I think it would do a better job if uh, it wasn't so awkward to get into where I where I was. Um, so now I'm going to push this in here. Let me see. Yeah, I've got plenty of space. I can do that. So between moving this pipe and the PEX pipe flexing as well, um, I'm making it flex up, giving myself some room, and I'm going to push this into the shark bite right now. And oh yeah, now yeah, I could still rotate that PEX pipe because they do rotate while they're in the shark bite. So that other end is turning as I'm turning this and putting pressure on it. And uh, I'm going to see if I can get 
a little bit better leverage on that to uh, to push that in all the way. Okay, I've got it pushed in there as much as I can. I think it's it's good. Uh, so I'm going to do the test now. I'm going to walk over to the crawl space, turn on the water, and we'll see if this is connected uh, properly or not. Uh, if there's a leak. I just remembered that I left the valve of the faucet of the tub open. So the water is running through here right now. And I can feel hot water in there. I don't see any leaks. So I'm going to shut off that faucet upstairs. And when I do, uh, this pipe will be under full pressure and we'll see what happens. Okay, so the faucet is off in the bathtub and this pipe is now into full pressure, dry. I don't see or feel any leaks. The other end looks fine too. So I'm gonna just monitor this for the next uh, 15 or 20 minutes and just uh, take a look at it. And I think I've completed this project. Uh, I'll come back with a final word in just a minute. So this job has been completed. This pipe has been replaced and the fittings are holding up fine. It's been about an hour, an hour and a half and everything is totally dry. So uh, the repair that I made with the PEX pipe and the shark bites uh, has worked. And uh, anyway, thanks for uh, joining me to watch this, uh, this repair job. Uh, give me a like, a thumbs up, uh, join the channel uh, and look for more content like this soon.